Got Surfshark VPN and wondering how to set it up properly? Look no further. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use Surfshark VPN on all devices, from setup and features to the performance and entertainment features of this app. Let's get started. First things first, let me show you how to set up Surfshark and use all of its features on Windows. For all you Mac, iOS, and Android users, don't worry, Surfshark's features are consistent across all operating systems, so you'll have no issues transferring your new knowledge. Only a few features differ slightly between operating systems, but don't worry, I'll highlight all the differences. To begin installing Surfshark, you'll need a subscription. While you can just get it from the provider's website, scanning this QR code or checking the link in the description will give you our exclusive discount, so consider using it instead. Alternatively, if you already have a plan, you can still click the link in the description and you'll land on the Surfshark website. Here you'll see the Download for Windows button, which you should go ahead and click on. The installer should download quickly, and once that's finished, we can start installing the app. After you have the installer on your device, double click it, and you'll be prompted to allow Surfshark to make changes on your device. Click yes to allow Surfshark to be installed on your device. After that, follow the steps I'm showing on screen right now. And that's it. For the record, installing the Surfshark app on other devices like Mac is just as easy too, so nothing to worry about there. Although there is an important detail to keep in mind. You will only get access to the built-in Surfshark antivirus if you download the app from the website not from the App Store. Installing the app on Android and iOS is really simple and streamlined too, because you can just use the Google Play Store for Android or App Store for iOS. Once the Surfshark app is locked and loaded on your chosen device, you'll need to log in using the credentials you created when purchasing the app. So go ahead and put those in, and then you'll be taken to the main Surfshark app interface. As you can see on screen, the interface looks pretty much the same on all operating systems which is what makes Surfshark easy to use on all devices. Great, so let's start learning how to use Surfshark. For starters, let's connect to the VPN for the very first time. To do this, let's get accustomed to the user interface. On the left side, you'll see the main settings, which you can click to access other features. And in the middle part of the app, you can see the giant server list, which you can choose from. Or alternatively, use the search bar at the top to find the location of your choice. For example, if I wanna to connect to Canada, all I have to do is search for it and then click on it. But if you don't need an exact location and just wanna protect your data by encrypting your network traffic while maintaining the best internet speed, just use the Quick Connect feature, which will connect you to the nearest VPN server. As you can see on screen, I'm now connected to the VPN. This means that my network traffic is encrypted, which makes it impossible for my ISP, any websites, or online services to track, record, or identify any of my activity. And on the right side of the screen, you can see how long the connection has been established, and to which country and IP address my network has been changed. To prove that the connection works, it never hurts to check a third-party website like what is my IP address to see if my real IP or DNS addresses aren't leaking. In my case, it shows that I'm connected in Canada when I'm really not, which means that the VPN is working. By the way, the act of connecting on Mac, iOS, or Android is pretty much the same as you can see on screen right now. Well, we're cruising through this Surfshark VPN setup, so now it's time to cover the bread and butter of any VPN provider, all of its features and safety. Starting with the kill switch, which is an important tool that cuts off your internet access if your VPN connection drops. I recommend keeping it enabled at all times, especially if you frequently enjoy downloading files via P2P. You can find the kill switch by clicking settings, then navigating to VPN settings and turning the kill switch slider on like so. Clean Web is another feature that makes my browsing experience much smoother and safer by blocking any malicious ads and pop-ups. So with Clean Web enabled, I can chill out and don't have to stress about accidentally clicking something that I wasn't supposed to click, like a phishing link. Clean Web can be found in the same VPN settings tab. Simply toggle it on, just like so, and you're ready to go. Next, we have the Bypasser feature, also known as split tunneling. This tool lets me access services like banking that prevent VPN usage altogether while keeping my connection secure on other applications. To find this feature, click Settings on the left side and then select VPN Settings. Click Bypasser and you're all set. We'll be back in the VPN Settings tab a bit later. Now onto one of my favorites, Alternative ID. With this feature, I can create a new email alias for use with any new accounts I want to register. However, instead of having to manage dozens of email addresses, 
all messages will be forwarded to my real inbox. So in practice, I still have only one email, but it's hidden under my alternative ID. I can also create an alternative persona, including birth date, name, and address to maintain my anonymity online. If I find myself on a sketchy website for a brand I don't yet fully trust, or I just don't want to share my real information just because, I can use alternative ID and I'm good to go. This feature is located in a separate section. You can find it by navigating to the main menu where the location list is shown and clicking alternative ID just above the settings. Adding to its already rich feature stack, Surfshark also has a built-in antivirus, and it's super convenient because it's on the same app we just downloaded today, so there's no need to download anything else. Granted, it does come with a bit more expensive subscription called Surfshark One, but it's still pretty cheap. And Surfshark One also includes other features to secure your privacy, like search and alert. Surfshark Alert works as your own private search engine. Think Google, but without any trackers and the alert feature scans the dark web to see if any of your data has been breached. It's a good tool to protect your email address, credit card, and other personal information. You can find both of these features on the left side menu here. However, the alert feature opens up in your browser where you'll be asked to input the personal information you wanna be protected. Back to the antivirus, we tested it ourselves and the results are up to par with the industry standards, so you can definitely rely on Surfshark to protect your device. And that was proven by independent testing too, with Surfshark earning six out of six points in protection in the latest AV test evaluation. To start a scan on the Surfshark application, click the antivirus button in the top left corner of the app. You'll see a new interface with all the antivirus features. Here, you can choose what type of scan you'd like to run. A full scan, which takes longer, but scans the whole device, or a quick scan, which takes less time, but scans areas of your PC where viruses are most commonly found. Real-time protection is another core feature for any antivirus that protects your device 24-7 and removes any malware as soon as it's detected, so I'd recommend keeping it on always by switching that toggle on. Next, there's the rotating IP feature, which changes the IP address of the location you're connected to every 15 minutes, making it harder for advertisers and websites to track your activity online. As a result, any companies or snoopers who might be interested in your data won't be able to build an extensive profile on you and sell it to advertisers, making you more private online. To locate the rotating IP feature, go back to the VPN settings tab like we did before. Here, let's toggle on the rotating IP feature, and that's it. But the features don't end there in this Surfshark tutorial. The double VPN feature, aka dynamic multi-hop, allows me to connect through two different servers simultaneously. This means that my traffic gains an extra layer of security. What separates Surfshark from the rest of the VPN service providers is that it lets me connect to any two countries I want. This feature is good for those looking for even more security online. However, keep in mind it can slow down your internet connection speed. Unlike most of the other features we covered, multi-hop can be found underneath the location search bar in the menu right here. You can choose from a predetermined set of locations or create a custom one by clicking Create Connection and choosing two countries. I know that was a lot. Of course, talking about all the features is important if you wanna learn how to use Surfshark VPN, but we still have a couple of crucial details to cover yet. We know that a VPN secures your network, but how does it do that? Well, encryption protocols are used to accomplish this. And when it comes to security and speed, their performance can vary. Surfshark uses top-notch protocols to protect your data and has multiple options for you to play around with. To change the protocol, go to Settings, then VPN Settings, and click Protocol. There you'll find three different options to choose from. All of these are good, but WireGuard is the fastest and newest one, so I recommend using it. And finally, to check your account status and information, click Settings and then My Account. Here you'll see info like your subscription period, you'll be able to change your password, and more. If you'd like to give Surfshark a shot, scan the QR code on screen to get the best Surfshark coupon code or click the link in the description. So is Surfshark good and is it worth learning to use? In my opinion, Surfshark is great. It's cheap and easy to use, with a neatly designed user interface across all operating systems. They make it easy to use for both beginners and advanced users, and the app is also packed with features. For those reasons, I can easily recommend Surfshark and include it on any best VPN list. If you'd like to learn more about the provider, click the link on screen, and I'll see you in the next video.